happy to welcome you in Vienna for the International Summer School, designing places of emancipation, question mark. Das was so from now it was created on the other side of the Danube. It's beyond our mental map or our imaginary. We have taken the site as an exemplary site and for us it's important that you don't necessarily develop uh, a new vision for the site. We want you to rather take this exemplary situation of processes getting stuck or trapped between formal and informal planning and provide us with sort of ideas and visions how you can untrap or unlock these situations. But we have not been uh, given access. So there is a conflict. Company providing services to citizens, they are now companies operating under the rules of the open market. If you do not own the land, then you basically have no uh, uh, impact on the procedure. Sogenannte kooperative Verfahren. Ich glaube, es ist eine gängige Praxis. Ich kenne Berliner Beispiele, die ähnlich ablaufen, wo man sagt, man beteiligt Leute und schließt dann aber eigentlich den, die tatsächliche Beteiligung und wirklichen Austausch ähm, aus. Uh, we decided to choose one research method and it was uh, to do research by walking on both of the sites and on the space in between. It can be a tool for appropriating space, connecting the people in the neighborhood. We thought it was interesting to, to see the link between emancipation and communication. Uh, can communication be a tool for uh, emancipation? because it's really not so easy. It's a polluted area, there are a lot of heritage buildings, so what can we do with it? You have yourself and each other as assets as well. When we say emancipation, it means something else uh, for different people. What it means. It's very emotional. Although uh, Gasworks La Bordel was our site, that we actually could also abstract from that, so we focused upon raising awareness, trying to be uh, transparent, taking action. It's their city as well and they have the right to use it and to, to take part in the development. As an outsider, we can make something stupid, something genial. During our first exploration of the area around the gas work, we were um, talking with people, different members of the communities, and it seemed like everybody knew the physical location of this place, but nobody really knew the story of what's going on with that, although it was so close to them. That's why we said it would be provoking people to think about the future of this place. They are not informed about the gas work um, area and the plans because they are not interested in it. They have the chance, they have the chance to, to go to workshops. We experience the importance to be there, having a meaningful interaction with space. Not to be blinded by narratives produced by others. I'm very, very excited about meeting so many interesting and uh, beautiful and uh, you know, wise people to share ideas. I want to think about emancipation as that kind of rising tone in a melody that's cyclical of always rising and falling.